portfolio is a place where you showcase your work. But instead of it sitting around collecting dust where no one sees it, it's actually out there in the virtual world, being viewed and considered. But considered for what? Well, in today's society, it's becoming expected that future employers or future universities or future professors or even current teachers or parents will be able to see how you present yourself online. An online portfolio is the place where you show your intended audience what you can do. Perhaps you're good at photography, or perhaps you are a musician. Maybe you are great at making people laugh, or you are incredibly hardworking, regardless. It is where you tell the world who you are as a person. In other words, you're creating your virtual introduction for a real world audience. But before you rush out and launch into creating your online portfolio, you need to consider what is my purpose and who is my audience? See, considering the purpose for your portfolio is paramount in determining who your audience might be and what you will include in your portfolio to make it effective to fulfill your purpose. If you're creating your portfolio for a class assignment or project, for example, be sure to consider that your teacher, other teachers, administration, classmates, and most likely your parents will see your portfolio. You may want to be sure that your sentences are perfect, your images appropriate, and the overall portfolio addresses the rubric to the letter. If you think your class assignment is also something a future university or professor might see, you might want to consider writing at a university level, such as using elevator rhetoric, university level vocabulary, third person point of view, and 21st century media literacy skills in terms of layout, design, and content. Or perhaps you're creating an online portfolio for the sheer purpose of wowing the socks off a university in the hopes of receiving the official accepted stamp. Regardless, they want to see you as an individual with diverse talents, diverse interests, commitment to excellence, media literacy, and that special something that makes you, you. So, where do you start? There are many great blog or online portfolio platforms to choose from, Tumblr, WordPress, SlideShare, ResumeUp, and others. You need to choose a platform with which you feel comfortable in terms of performance and privacy options. If you're not sure where to start, well, let's take a look at Weebly. Weebly is a free online website platform. Yes, it'll cost you money if you want all the bells and whistles, but it's a robust platform, even at the most basic level. All that's required to get started is a username valid email address and password. Easy. Fill it out here. You'll then be asked to select a theme. This is not so easy. Your theme needs to reflect your purpose and your audience. Consider the layout and the colors. Do you want architectural black and white such as this over here or do you want colorful and playful such as perhaps this one right here? Who knows? What font do you require? Do you need something elegant? Something structured? All factors need to be considered and influence your theme choice. Here is the theme style I chose for this sample, but I don't like the main graphic and I want to change it to suit my purposes. I am showcasing my degree's title, Education, Media Design and Technology. I am picking up on the word technology Technology, 80 years ago, was the radio. So that's what I want to include as my main image. Here, let's change this. Let's go to Edit Image. Could look, Edit Image, click. And then we go, oh, okay. So I want to remove this image. Yes, I do. Remove image. But then I want to add an image. And so let's upload that from my computer. And I want to have this one right here because I've already prepared this for this purpose. And there we go. Hopefully, it's loading. And there it is. So this image now reflects 
what it is that I want to showcase. So I click OK. All right, so now the image suits my outlying message or topic of my portfolio. And the next step will be to start populating the site that, through images, words, and arrangements, works to present a cohesive message. So, what is your purpose? Who is your audience? What is the message you want to send? If you figured this out, then you are well on your way to building your online portfolio. We'll continue our discussion and tutorials about the online portfolio and how to create a portfolio that's right for your purpose and audience. But in the meantime, get started on setting up a Weebly account or using a platform with which you're already familiar. See you next time. Bye-bye.